All right, fam, so we are back with another crazy video. Now, in today's video, we got the Democrats, all right? We got the Dems, the Kamala supporters. So, look, man, uh, this video right here caught my attention, okay? I watched a little bit of it, didn't watch the full video because I wanted to react with it. I wanted to react to it with y'all. So, I didn't watch the entire video, but I watched little parts here and there. And, bro, when I tell you this video, what gets you so mad because it, it just... Is, is filled with a bunch of people that have no type of common sense. Like, I promise you, you would think you have to pay for common sense. It's like the only thing you get in life that is free and that we should all use it. But no, we don't all use our common sense, okay? Anyways, so without further ado, man, we finna go ahead, uh, we finna go ahead and hear these lunatic Democrats talk about why they're voting for Kamala Harris. And this is gonna be hilarious, okay? So without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let's get it, let's go. Definitely not Trump. Donald Trump is not my kind of man. People over there saying F Trump, what do you think about that? They need to get their facts straight. Racist, homophobic asshole. I think she's um, a lot better than Biden. Kamala, not ready. I am here at Bucky's to ask people who they're gonna be voting for, Donald Trump or Kamala Harris, who are you gonna be voting for? Trump. Good choice. Please double check that you are subscribed to my channel. Let's go. Kamala or Trump? Trump. Trump, 100%. Guys, Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump. Okay, we got two for Trump. What do you guys say, Trump or Kamala? Kamala. Kamala. Okay, we got two Trumps, one Kamala. We got another Kamala. So that's tie. What do you say, Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump? Yeah. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> we got three Trumps, two Kamala so far. What's, what's that, a microphone? Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you think about Kamala? Kamala? Amateur, not not ready for a uh, government. Yeah. No track record. A hundred percent. What do you guys say, Trump or Kamala? I'm not voting for either one because the last time that Trump won, the popular vote was against him, and the electoral college didn't follow that. It's fucking pointless. Left wing, right wing, same fucking vote. Okay. What do you guys say, Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump. We got another Trump. Trump or Kamala? Oh, neither. Thanks. Neither. Okay. Trump. Trump, we gotta. You know, for people that say neither, and for people that's not going to vote, do y'all not understand that? Like, voting for a president, you your vote as much as you may think your vote don't count, your vote honestly does count. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless, bro, voting for a president will definitely affect your life, the way that you live. It will affect your your daily task. Like, it will affect it all. I mean, look how much it affect all of us as Americans when Biden got into office. Like, bro, we struggling out here. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. It is hard. You have to get out there and vote, okay? You have to get out there and vote. I'm not like I don't. I don't get it. You, you say neither. Like just look into the policies of both candidates, bro, and vote based on which one you think will will lead America into the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Because we already in destruction. At least that's how I feel. I'm trying to. I'm trying to come up out of destruction. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, we are gonna go ahead and finish. Trump. Why do you say Trump? Why would you not say Trump? <laughs> Trump or Kamala? Uh, Trump. Trump. We got a Trump point. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump. Yeah. We got another point for Trump. Trump, Trump or Kamala? Trump. Oh, I don't know. Trump. Trump. Oh, we got another Trump. We got like six Trumps. <laughs> <laughs> they say all the way too. All right, and now we are here at a county fair and we're gonna be asking people the same thing. Neither one of them. <laughs> okay. Um, no comment. <laughs> Fuck Trump, bud. Sorry. Fuck him. Don't Fuck. like him. What do you say? Yeah. Kamala for sure. Okay. And uh, what don't you like about, or why don't you like Donald Trump? No comment. My husband. Uh -huh. He's right here. He's mil he was military. Uh -huh. He totally disagrees with all of this. This would be a totally different conversation. <laughs> Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Why do you say Donald Trump? There were some people over there saying F Trump. What do you think about that? Um, they need to get their facts straight and <laughs> and do more research. Do I have that? First of all, huh? Oh, first of all, I want to say this. Okay, I'm not going. I'm not going to keep pausing it. Okay, I'm not because I I I, just, I genuinely want y'all to see this entire video without me keep interrupting. But bro. You, how can you not like someone and then not give an explanation on why you don't like that person? You, you, Trump or Kamala? Uh, not, uh, Kamala. You know, why not Trump? I don't know. No comment. Like, what? Like, bro, how, like, how can you not give an explanation for a person that you just don't like? Okay? Like, come on, man. Most people are voting for Kamala just because she's not Trump. Like, that's the same thing they did with Biden. Because Biden ain't Trump, and they don't want Trump in office. They just go vote Biden. They don't care about none of this man stand for 
They don't care about none of it. They just going to vote Biden. They just going to vote Kamala. They they they, didn't, they don't care, bro. And that's so bad. Like, how can you seriously be in the country and not care about who you're voting to run your country? I don't see the point in that, but okay. The answer that? If you want to. Well, I don't know you, so I can tell you, Kamala. In all honesty, I'm sitting this one out this year, so it's not a fair question. It's a fair question. It's not a fair answer. Donald Trump is not my kind of man. Too controlling. You almost died in the helicopter. Rick. I did hear that, yes. <laughs> what do you think about the attempted assassination? Sad. Um, I don't wish that for anybody. Well, not Donald. Not Donald, not so Donald. you would vote for Kamala? I would. I think she's um, a lot better than Biden. She has her shit together. And I told you that's who you were voting for as well. Uh, Kamala Harris. Okay, what's your reason? Uh, yeah, a lot of reasons. <laughs> Man, you hear it all in his voice. That, that's why he voted for Kamala. She, she, she for that. She for that type of nonsense right there. That you hear it all in the, um, Kamala. Like you, you hear it all up in there, brother. You know, what I'm saying? ain't no bass in that voice. We know why you voting for Kamala, bro. We know why you voting for Kamala. You don't want to vote for Trump though. You ain't, ain't gonna vote for Trump with all that in your voice, all that sass, man. Yeah, a little bass in your voice, homie. You feel me? I'm just saying. Um. Yeah, a lot of reasons. <laughs> um, Democrat, um, not a fascist, not a um, racist, homophobic asshole. What? What I tell yeah, you? Yeah. So Homoph you think that Donald Trump is those things? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what makes you feel that way or believe that? Uh, based on evidence by all the things he said. What yeah. does he say that seems racist? Um, I don't have time to go through the last time of his presidency but yeah mm -hmm. it's a hard one really i mean probably kamala kamala yeah what? but um what do you like about kamala she's not trump <laughs> I see. yeah what I mean, don't you like about trump then i should ask i mean pretty much everything <laughs> wow definitely not trump okay what about you <laughs> kamala, yeah. kamala as well so you, why what don't you like about trump everything Where, like what would you what's the biggest thing his face. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hate his face. Wow. And what? so how long ago did you begin disliking him so much? The day I was born. The day I was born, I just didn't like his face. Wow. It's the tan? No. The just hair? everything. Just the way it looks. I see. I'm threatened by it. Really? Mm -hmm. What's I'm threatening? jealous. I wish I'd look like an orange, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. What about Kamala do you like? Everything. Mm -hmm. I'm very, I'm very just, um, I don't have a lot of thought. I just like something or I don't. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah, it's like black and white. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, that would be racist, like Trump. Which, so I'm not like black and white. No, I don't oh. care about that kind of thing. Oh. That would be a Trump thing. Mm -hmm. But, anyway, yeah. Donald Trump. A lot of people here are saying Kamala. Why, what's your reason for Donald? Because he's proven policies. What policies do you like? Well, um, let's talk about immigration. It's one of the biggest policies. Maybe not necessarily shutting down the border, but you know, realistically, let's give people an opportunity to come in legally and not rush the border and overpa overpower the uh, border agents. I'm from Texas, so it's really affecting us. Wow, what's going on in Texas? Well, a lot of migrants coming through. I mean, I've seen buses full, so. What do you think Kamala will do about the border? They've not done anything about it. She's supposed to be the border czar, and she's not ever visited the border, so she doesn't know. She, doesn't, yeah. she hasn't seen it, so. If she actually took a moment to go down there and visit it, I think she'd be really surprised. I'm finding it super interesting that people who are voting for Trump have reasons and policy backing them up, whereas people who, many people who want to vote for Kamala are doing so just because they despise Trump because of what the media sources have told them, yet they have no other reason as to why they are voting that way. If it was the other way around and people were just saying that they're not voting for Kamala because they just don't like the way she looks or something about her just makes them angry, That'd be completely ridiculous. You guys prefer Donald Trump or Kamala? Kamala. Kamala? What do you like about Kamala? She's not Donald Trump. She's not Donald Trump. All right, see, you heard it there. 
They're not voting for Kamala. They're voting because they don't like Donald Trump. I was wondering if you prefer Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? Kamala Harris. Okay. And what do you like about her? I like that she's a Democrat and she uh, is for the people. Okay. What of uh, her policy specifically are you a big fan? She for the people? She for the pe- Man. Boy, people need to stop. Stay off social media, bro. Y'all need to y'all need to do y'all research. Y'all need to stop going with what social media is telling y'all, bro. Cause these fake news, they giving y'all this baloney. This baloney meat. Like, bro, this is the cheapest meat you can get. Like, did you really just say Kamala is for the people, fam? She I must Biden must have been for the people too. I'm Lord, have mercy. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's for the people. Okay. What of uh, her policies specifically are you a big fan of? I don't really know her policies, but I just don't like Donald Trump. What don't you like about Donald Trump? Uh, he's very uh, sexist and uh, racist. What things have you said that are sexist or racist? Uh, grab her by the pussy. And uh, uh, what, I, I need to find that clip because I haven't oh, seen it. Oh, it's everywhere. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's uh, okay. talking in a bus. He's talking about grabbing people's pussies and stuff. Yeah, it's very disgusting. So what person do you think would run our country better? Uh, I don't know. I guess Kamala. I don't know. I mean, it's it's up in the air. They both are, uh, you know, kind of kind of wishy-washy. So, I mean, we had to get a replacement for Joe Biden. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we could have done a better search, but it's too short. You know, too short of a time. So. What person do you think would handle the border better and inflation? Ugh. I don't know. Donald Trump's going Bitcoin, so maybe him, border, probably Kamala, maybe a split, 50-50. Yeah. Right, so you're pretty set on Kamala? Oh, so. uh, yeah. Probably going to go Democrat. I just think they have better uh, you know, policies for the people. Okay, I like women's rights, so Republicans are mostly against that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm more I'm more of a uh, Democrat. Uh, I, I care about the women. I care about the people. So. And what do you mean by women's rights? Uh, to have birth or not have birth. To you know Roe v. Wade and stuff like that. Stuff that was already uh, cemented in the United States and that was overturned by you know people in the Republican Party. And so what about children's rights? I love children's rights, but uh, I guess I see where you're going now. All right, they're not really people yet, are they? <laughs> So yeah. what constitutes a life? Uh, once you're born, I guess. Once you're born? Yeah. And so you think people should be able to have abortion right up to their birth? Yes, anytime. Oh, man. It's your choice. I mean, you've tried, decided to have the baby or not have the baby. And so. if the baby has his own heartbeat, fingerprints, brain, breathing, hearing. It's just still your choice. It's not a child yet. Once it's until it comes out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you want to say. Is this going on somewhere? YouTube. All right, go for yeah. it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's really up to the parents, I would think, at that point. Crazy. Please make sure you are subscribed to- All right, bro. This was the most wildest video I probably reacted to all 2024, fam. Dog, are you serious? Are you, you're seriously telling me that these people here, they first of all, they have no idea why they're voting for Trump. I mean, why they're voting for Kamala. They have no idea. It is because- Oh, I don't like I don't like Trump, so I'm gonna vote Kamala. Like, bro, this is stupid. Like, we're sitting here voting because we don't like a certain individual. Instead of actually doing the research, it takes 10 minutes, not even 10, maybe two minutes just to look up policies, to to just do the research, to listen to the debates that they have, to listen to the um the conferences that they have in different states. Like it takes literally like two minutes just to look up these things and just hear them out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's like even listening to what Trump is saying at his conferences and when he's traveling to dip or even the interviews that he's been doing. Nobody's willing to even listen to what he's saying. You say grab her by the pee. Like, bro, are you like, come on now, bro. It was some context in between that. Like nobody wanted to talk about the context that he actually meant that by. Like you really think Trump just going around, hey, grab her by the pee. Grab her. Yeah, grab, grab her too by the pee. Like, come on, bro. Let's really be like, this is the problem. People take one small snippet of something, post it on social media, they go with that snippet, and they believe, like, without watching the full-on video, they believe that right there was the full-on video. And that's bad, bro. That is so bad. Like, you can't even post a simple clip, a simple clip on TikTok or Instagram without somebody taking it and just running with it, bro. Instead of going behind the video and saying, let me actually watch the context of this video and what he meant by it, nobody's doing that. They're just taking that little clip, and that's it. You can look it up on YouTube, bro. It's like a, a, a good old... 50 30 second clip like that's not good enough to tell the whole entire the whole entire video on what the video was about that's not that's not good enough bro like come on now man like this is crazy bro like like i said before both parties are corrupt you know what i'm saying the republicans are corrupt 
the Democrats are corrupt. Like there's like, of course, like these parties like are ran by ran by men. You know what I'm saying? So there, these parties are not perfect. But bro, like at least I can say that the Republicans actually have some type of common sense and some type of knowledge, bro. Like the Democrats just seem like they're lost and they go based off what other people say. They don't have a mind of their own. It seems like they only voting because of just what they're saying on social media, but instead of doing a research on themselves, you saying that the Democrats is for the people, you saying that you care about women rights and all these, bro, what are you saying, dude? What are you saying, bro? Like, seriously, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I stand on this. I said in my last video, and I'm gonna say it now, I'm Jesus first in 2024. So I'm Jesus 2024 before I'm Trump 2024. I love Trump. I mess with his policies. I will be voting for Trump 2024, but I will always be Jesus first. You know what I'm saying? That's just simple as that. I will always be Jesus first in 2024. So Jesus 2024 because Jesus is the only one that can save this country. You know what I'm saying? Trump can't save this country. No other politician can save this country. The only person that can truly save this country is Jesus Christ. So put your faith in Jesus Christ first before you put your faith in Trump. Before you put your faith in another man to save this country, you have to put your faith in the one and only true and one God. That's what. That's who you have to put your faith in first. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I I was still I still would be voting for Trump, but I don't have it in my mind to say that like, bro, this man is going to save America. Like, no, he's not going to save America. You know what I'm saying? But his policies can definitely help America. You know what I'm saying? It could definitely bring America back to what it was. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely agree with the policies of Trump. But man, just to, like if people truly look at his policies and look at what he's for and what he stands for, bro. I mean, bro, I, like, how, why, why, why wouldn't you vote for him? You know what I'm saying? I just pray that this man is being led by the Lord so that we're not being led more into more further in destruction. You know what I'm saying? Like, I pray that he's being led by the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Uh, the Democrats, y'all, y'all, like, y'all truly need to, like, wake up. Like, truly wake up. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, you should know why you're voting for a person. Like, I can't just follow something and not know why I'm following it. Like, I don't just follow Christianity and not know why I'm following it. Like, come on, bro. I can't just do what everybody else do around me. I need to know what, why am I following this? And same thing applies to politics. Like, why am I voting for this person? Like, I need to know these things. It's not just because, oh, this person not Trump. So I'm going to vote for them. Like, what if Kamala, one of Kamala's policies was she want to she wanna take out all the black babies or something like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that wasn't shown on on, on uh, fake news because they're not going to show that part on the fake news because it's Kamala Harris. But if it was Donald Trump that said something like that, they'll show that on fake news. Man, this is ridiculous, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy, depend. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless, stay blessed. Peace.